Shalom and welcome once again for our daily devotional, The Living Supernaturally. We enjoy this time where we can learn together, study God's Word together and worship Him through our knowledge of Him. This last week, we have been focusing on us being the children of God. And we, we are beginning to see what are some of the privileges that we have as we as God has called us His children. Yesterday, we looked at how we are an heir of God and how we have an inheritance reserved for us that is incorruptible. Today, we're going to be looking at another privilege. And for that, let's read Romans chapter 8, verses 14 to 15. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. As a child of God, we have received the spirit of adoption, or we can say the spirit of sonship. The spirit of sonship speaks of us as a daughter and a son that is adopted into the family of God. And what does it mean to be adopted? So an adopted person loses the rights of his old family and enters in and gains all the rights of a legitimate child in the new family. He's the one who becomes a full heir to everything that the parents own. And you also gain the privileges and the responsibilities um, of, of, a, of a child. So when we look at being, having a spirit of sonship, there are four aspects of our lives that will radically change as we make the shift. So the first is our identity. In other words, we're included in the family of God and we've become a child of God, which means your identity is defined newly. You have a new identity by being a child of God. We have another aspect we see is the status. We know that a slave, which is the opposite of being a son, a slave has no rights, a slave has no responsibilities. But, and a slave is controlled by the master. But as a son or as a child, you and I have all the rights and responsibilities belonging to that status. The third aspect we see is a position. As a slave to sin, we are always guilty before God and as a sinner, we are entitled to God's wrath. But because of Jesus, we stand reconciled, we stand holy, we stand redeemed, and we stand free from any kind of an accusation. And the last aspect we see is we have a relationship. We are drawn into the most closest and intimate personal relationship with God. So as a spirit of sonship, we have an identity, a status, a position, and a relationship. So as a child of God, we should not be living under a slavery mentality, but we should be moving into having the mentality of a son and enjoying the, the love and the experience that we have in our fellowship with him. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for moving us from being in a place of slavery to a place of adoption as your son, as your children. Thank you for the identity you have given us for the position that we share, for the relationship that we have with our King and Lord Jesus. Thank you because these privileges, Lord, are things that we could, we could never have on our own. You in your great mercy and grace have showered this on us. We thank you and we are in complete gratitude to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.